I put my new grill to the test today, cooking these beautiful, delicious, barky, juicy, jiggly, tender beef ribs. On the Gravity 980, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. Let's go. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to BKC Cooks. I'm Brandon Carpenter, and today I'm cooking beef ribs. I'm going to be smoking them on my uh, new Char Griller Gravity 980. Um, it's a gravity-fed Wi-Fi and Bluetooth-enabled grill slash smoker. I'll be smoking these today. So this is what we have. Big gold. they call them dino ribs here in Texas, or just beef ribs. Uh, you'll see them listed as plate ribs. And what they are is a big old section of the short rib. Uh, same way if you would get like braised short ribs or something like that. This is the cut of meat you're getting, but I'm working with some prime, super high quality beef ribs from uh, a local HEB, shout out HEB. Best grocery store in the world. They don't pay me to say that, but if they want to, I'm always here. So uh, these are pretty big here in Central Texas. Um, where I'm from, they're, they're not uh, a huge thing. It's something you would usually have to order in or tell the butcher, hey, can you get me this, can you get me that? Uh, but you can find them in the grocery store here in prime quality um, and subprime, but uh, prime is the way to go. And so this is one of the, I've never done these before, not on the smoker. I've braised short ribs countless times, but I've never smoked them. Um, I've had them at several barbecue restaurants and they're fantastic, but I've never smoked them before. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of the easiest things you can do, similar to a pork butt, because there's not a lot of, uh, well, there's no butchering that you need to do. You're basically going to take them out of the package, uh, wipe them off, season them, and put them on your smoker. Uh, so for somebody who's just getting into smoking, just getting into barbecue, I think um, this is one of the ways to go, uh, similar with a pork butt. Uh, so we're going to uh, see how this works out again. It is my first time, uh, but I'm going to season them a little differently than what they do here because Central Texas, um, their claim to fame is everything is just salt and pepper. And that's cool. I don't believe them because I've had fantastic, fantastic barbecue from uh, pretty much every barbecue joint restaurant whatever you want to call it i've been to i've been here a little over three years now and i haven't had any barbecue that wasn't fantastic it's all great here uh but when they say oh it's just salt and pepper sorry y'all i have a hard time believing that if y'all just using salt and pepper and getting those kind of results wow my hat's off to you y'all using some voodoo or you got some elves working in your pit or you got something going on it ain't just salt and pepper but at any rate I'm gonna be using uh, Montreal steak seasoning because this is gonna be basically like a, a steak on a bone or a brisket on a bone and it's gonna be cooking. I'm guessing these are probably gonna run me about minimum six hours. I'm guessing more like eight. And if I'm waiting that long uh, and I'm gonna be taking that much time, I want some flavor, man. I don't want just salt and pepper. I, I want a little more going on. so. Uh, Montreal steak season is the way I'm going to try it again. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. I'm confident that it's going to be good. So um, I'm going to get these cleaned up, seasoned up. I'll show you what I do. Again, not much to it. I'm just going to uh, season them, wipe them off, clean them up, and uh, get a seasoning on there. And then we'll uh, light our fire, which will take about five minutes with that uh, that Char Griller Gravity 980. It doesn't take long to get up the temp at all. And uh, we'll let these rock for, I'm guessing, about eight hours. Uh, we'll see. Again, I haven't done these on the smoker before, but just looking at the size of these bones, and I know what it takes to braise them and the amount of connective tissue and everything that's in there. I'm thinking minimum six, but I'm guessing it's probably going to be closer to about eight hours for uh, what I'm looking for. So let's get these seasoned up. Then we'll uh, make our fire and get these on the pit. Let's go. All right, so this is what I've got straight out of the package. Uh, again, I haven't cut anything, haven't done anything. This is it. It's really simple. So again, I'm just going to go with just some plain old yellow mustard. 
I'm not trying to get a whole lot of flavor or anything like that. This is just to make the uh, the seasoning stick. Nothing more. Whoa, nothing less. Don't forget the sides. That's important. So you want this to be nice and barky. Get all that seasoning. And hit your bones too. Those bones are going to impart so much flavor in these ribs over that long, long cook. And this meat is beautifully marbled. I think it's going to be amazing. I got to do a better job of keeping my board still. The old chef would kill me if he saw my board sliding all over the place, but don't tell him. All right. Then we'll do our seasoning. All right, so fire came together super quick. Um, it's been about two minutes and it's already, uh, yep, it's at 275 now, so I'm gonna go grab the ribs. We'll get them on and let the magic happen. Let's go. All right, so the ribs are on. That's about all I need to do. The, uh, the grill's gonna take care of all the hard work, which is managing the temperature and uh, make sure the fire stays going. And uh, I don't have to do anything else until these are done. Uh, again, this is pretty much it. You put them on, you let them cook slow and low until they're done. Uh, again, I'm guessing anywhere from six to eight hours. I'm probably leaning more towards eight because that's a, a pretty big cut. Uh, but we'll see. I'm going to check them at six. I'll probe them, see how tender they are, uh, see what the bark is looking like. But uh, I'm confident I won't have to do much. And uh, so shout out. I, I got these beautiful, beautiful prime uh, ribs from H-E-B, best grocery store in the world. They have them here in Texas, and I'm not sure where else, but shout out H-E-B. You know, they, they're not paying me or anything, but if you want to, H-E-B, I'm your man. <laughs> But uh, it's just, uh, it's cool to be able to go get prime meats and, and um, all of the, the prime briskets and everything else that, you know, you see in Texas barbecue. Uh, we're fortunate enough here in Texas to be able to just go to the grocery store and get that stuff. Uh, so shout out to HEB for the great meat. Uh, so I'm going to go run some errands. I got a bunch of stuff to do today. I'm going to monitor um, everything from my phone. The Char Griller app lets you uh, monitor everything, make sure your temps are holding. If you want to increase or decrease your temperature or if you, if you want to shut the grill down uh, there's even an option um, 
you can use uh, a meat probe that plugs right into the control panel and you can monitor the temperature of the meat as well so i'm gonna go do the things i need to do let the grill do its job and uh we'll come back in about six hours let's see what it does all right so these ribs have been on uh about four and a half hours uh, i haven't looked at them yet i've just uh been patient but i'm ready to take a look at them see what we're working with here and i'm pretty excited so you're going to be seeing it uh for the first time just like me so let's see what we got here oh yes 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 that is looking pretty doggone good i'm <laughs> shocked and amazed um, it looks like something you get at a barbecue joint and the temperatures have held beautifully uh, at right at 275 that park is really nice it smells crazy delicious beefy yeah i'm pretty sure this is going to be amazing um so i'm going to check them again in about uh two hours because uh at four and a half i know that they're not what i'm looking for like yeah, it's it's tender but it, it's not it's not nowhere any nowhere near where it's supposed to be so we'll get the lid back down let these keep smoking um again super happy with this Gravity 980. The dog is lurking. Sorry, bud. These aren't for you. So, fans kicking on. The heat is ramping up. So, I'm going to close this lid. Check it in another two hours. And um, we're going to be eating something amazing for dinner. Yo, this thing has been holding at 275 i mean almost dead on the entire time so i'm going to take a look at these and they look phenomenal nice and jiggly oh yeah those are ready look at that that's like a pillow. I'm going to temp them, though, just to be scientific. Yep, these are 196. One eighty nine in that spot. Two oh five down there, so I'm happy with that. And as you can see, the meat is basically pulled all the way off of this bone. And like I said, this is super jiggly. So I'm gonna pull these. I'm gonna let them rest. Um, I'm gonna let them cool down to about one sixty, so I can slice into them. And uh, we'll be enjoying them. So let's pull them, let them rest, and we'll do the taste test. All right, so we're all done. Uh, I let these cool to 160 degrees, and they're ready to serve. So I'm going to try to cut this close because this is pretty much off of this bone. So I'm going to try to cut this closer to this one and try to ride along that bone. And these are not fighting. Well, well, all that for nothing. That bone came right out of there. Mm. 
Look at that. Super juicy. Super tender. Still nice and warm. Let's give them a taste. Now it's time for the taste. Check that out. Uh oh. Nice and barky. Super juicy. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> What family gets here? Wow. Jiggle, jiggle. See that? Holds together. Pulls right apart. It's like a brisket. Unbelievably good. So glad I did this. Because I've never done them before, but I'll definitely be doing them again. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that's about it for this one. I'm gonna slice this up, get it served up for my family. Um, and you can become part of the family when you click that bell, you smash that subscribe button. That way you're notified when I release a new video. And uh, check out all the other videos I got. Got some pretty good stuff on there. So until next time, I wish you good eating to y'all. Take care.